And I mentioned the story many times, and I always forget the name, and I believe the name of the author is, as I mention it, which is a famous atheist. I think his name is Anthony, Anthony Flew. Anthony Flew. He was an atheist, and then he became a theist. But he's not a Muslim. Allahu alam if he's died or not. May Allah guide all of us. But he was a famous, very famous atheist, and he used to have debates with Christians. And he would try to refute the Christians. And at one point, and this is him writing, I think, I forgot the name of the book. But he's writing his biography of how he transitioned from, an athe from atheism to being a theist. So he says, I'm writing a book. And he, re he recalls his times where he was writing a book in a hotel room at 2 a.m. at night. And the whole book is about proving that Allah doesn't exist. Atheism. So he's writing and writing and writing and writing. And he says, when I finished the book finally after months and months of hard work, I finished the book in the hotel room 2 a.m. And I wanted to switch off the light and go to sleep. As I came to switch off the light, I felt a fear in my heart that God is going to punish me. If you don't believe in Allah, you've just finished writing a book on atheism. Who put that fear in your heart that Allah is going to destroy you? This belief that Allah exists is innate. You can't strip away. You can't take it away. Okay. Again, this is what? This is not an evidence for us. We have the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, and we also have the hadith of the Prophet where the Prophet وسلم, said, خَلَقْتُ عِبَادِي حُنَفَا I created my slaves حُنَفَا Pure, with rububiyya. فَاجْتَالَتْهُمُ shayateen. Then the shayateen, they came and they repelled them and pulled them away from the worship of Allah alone, Hanifiyya. But it's what's supporting evidence. 